Welcome guys to chapter 12 of my Let's Play series. Yeah, look guys, because of the 1.1, my pine forest biome got switched into a snow biome. Well that is kind of mm, how you say convenient for me because I was really looking for a snow biome and like once I switched it became a when I switched upgrade upgraded to 1.1 it became a snow biome. So that pretty much saved me a lot of trouble. And I'm happy for it. Yeah. Alright guys, so I've been working a lot. I've been not working as in I've been playing here in my world for quite a bit I think. And I got the my mob grinder working as you can see from the that video just now and so this is my entrance into the mob grinder I stand here press the button tada this is the mob grinder or the violator got one guy there now just killed like the whole bunch of them recently and yeah so there's a mob spawner under here I think around 10 blocks down and then mobs will spawn and then they'll be carried up to this uh, mob elevator if one would just come up so we can demonstrate better ah, there it is they come up like that and they'll be pushed like so into the holding or the killing chamber I didn't want to use any uh, torches so I incorporated lava Glowstone, yeah, and I have a on/off switch for the uh grinder because it will get very noisy. Yep, and it's called a violator because when they come over, I can do it under them. Yeah, just for fun, like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. So we'll let that build up a bit while I show you around my mob grinder. <laughs> okay, so over here, flash, building stuff, potions for easier killing, a lock and release which I'll show you later. And I just try to incorporate lighting and this is this vines is quite crucial because occasionally not really like one of them will just drop down here and then I'll be, I'll be AFKing here then they try to hit me but uh, if you are standing beyond this vines the zombies cannot actually see you so it's kind of like a protection yeah and it looks nice also hmm. and beyond the vines you have stairs that over here is my small brewing station I have some potions bring up so I can uh, throw one and kill at 200 at one time. Sauce box here so I can just spam uh, water bottles. Yeah. And down here, this is the zombie mob spawner. You can see through. Just barely. Uh, these stairs and half slabs do not let in light though you can see through them but they are at, at solid blocks so light cannot pass through but the thing is you can see through them so yay yeah. and over here I have a small storeroom just to maximize my time while I'm here because while well, I usually AFK here and wait for them I can come down here and do some farming yeah As you can see I already have quite a few things have some supplies just in case and the way here is just some wiring which I'll show you later okay so let's head up alright so we have a fair bit of the, let's see um 17 18 19 okay we'll look for 20 Alright, so come on, get down there. So once they are all over here, 
the hit this level to prevent new spawns from coming in and messing up our like and messing up the whole killing system because once I suffocate them for 19 moons they'll be like within two hits or one hit of fist before they die. So let's get to it. As you can see, some of them died because when I press this lever, like it suffocated at one time. So you need 20 moons for them to die. And now they are like within one or two hits from dying, or you can just do this. Which is a bit of a waste. Yeah, but that's for demonstration. And then if an item stuck there, you can really just flick it on time and get it. And on it back and new mobs come in. Just like so. And, oh. yeah. and just now you saw the room was dark like this. And if I want to switch it off, hold on, you can just come over over here, hit the button, and wait for it. Boom, it's so bright. <gasps> no. Okay, can get it. Yeah, as you can see, I have glowstone, 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 glowstone. And this will all prevent the zombie from spawning. Oh shit. Yep. And these are all block swappers, so I have four. Let me show you how I got it done. Oops. Alright. So the button from up there comes all the way down here and into over here all this this will okay for for the blocks to swap the swapping pistons has to be powered twice which is the first power source from here the second power source from here and once i press the button these torches will all switch off these three and this will cause this to retract and this guys to push one block over so the glowstone will be over here and then the dirt will be replaced there and it pushed out so it will be swapped at the same thing over here and the same thing over here yeah it's kind of messy and there's already a lot of block swapper tutorials out there and I followed the one from uh who was that uh I think it was Mine Minecraft Edit yeah alright and up there is my uh, is the ceiling block swapper let's just get up there just like this so the same signal from here yeah from here comes into this block swapper which is works in the same principle just as it is for the ceiling yeah and so let's get back into the oh, oh shit okay. get back into the killing chamber and stop that noise so irritating alright so gonna kill me some zombies For the potions, I'll just punch them to death like this. And you get lots of food and yeah, whatnot. <coughs> Alright, and what's to do? And while I was working down here, I there were some constant uh, spider noises and 
let me show you where that came from should be over here and tada a spider spawner just right near my zombie spawner I don't know if I should make this to a mock trap also because I don't need the string before wool and whatnot whatever yeah but I don't know maybe a future project but I don't think it'll be soon <coughs> because with the uh, this I can get so much experience now I can enchant my stuff and tada I enchanted my diamond pick to get this which is my first fortune pick ever and I already started to make a mine and you can see so quiet already yeah. yeah how you get up will be from here which is it night I think it's night okay let's hope we can get back to base safely get back over here and then we'll be on our way alright guys so I'll see you I'll see you guys back in base Alright guys, uh, we are still walking. The I'll just I'll start. I'll tell you where the mob grinder is. That's the base over there, and over this mountain is the swamp biome, and that's where the mob grinder is. So it's not that far. And yeah, oh, die. Oh shit, creeper! No, get away from me, creeper! Don't blow up my stuff. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, time to run. Yeah, so nothing much changed. I just oh, I I don't think I showed this yet. I added lights like this because not all places can grow trees. But I think I've changed them because they look ridiculous. But uh, maybe some other time. Alright, so we're back in base, nothing much changed here. Still don't wanna do about that. And let's head up. And this is yeah, whatever the normal place. So let's quickly store that. Look at this. I have so many slime balls. It's not even funny anymore. Let's get some more wood. And let's enchant. I want a new pick. I want an efficiency pick and a breaking pick. I already went through my efficiency for diamond pickaxe, mining for diamonds and whatever. So, oh, and I replaced. Initially, there was two fan skits here, but I replaced it with like this. Just to make it more convenient. And let's bring up the levels as enchant looking for level 34 oh come on let me keep clicking something above 30 uh, give me a oh okay that's decent let's go oh, I want to touch Oh my god. Oh well, I guess. Nothing can do about it. Ah. Bring this with me. Okay, so I want to head over to my to my new mine, which I'll show you where it is. But first Let's check on my small dark room. One day I had her in over here and I opened it and there was three endermen inside. It was so freaking awesome. Alright. So it's done with and let's get over to the overwatch 
yeah, that's where my new mind is. I know last time I said that I wanted to make the Overwatch area my farming area, but I recently designated a new area for my farming area. And so let's just get over there. I'm still thinking of what to do for like pillar support for this track. Still not sure how it looks like. Yeah, but liking the area, my area now. It looks very nice. And go over here. So let's get back in. And this is Overwatch, the normal normal Overwatch. And this is my mine. Alright, you can see I have quite a few things here. All my stuff, lots of cobble and such and whatnot. Get me more supplies and I found a skeleton spawner over here. And so today, let's just get rid of some of that. We don't need this inside. The bucket can keep it there. I'm breaking. We did finish. I think first. Okay. So something like that. All right. So I have a quick drop down here to level ten, and I'm at level uh thirty two. That's a seventy two block drop. Yeah. And over here. Uh, I want to make an elevator here. The piston elevator is similar to one that I have in base. Yeah, but I'm not done digging it. So let me quickly show you how I do my mining. It's for all, where all my materials come from. Uh, it's not polished up yet, but pretty soon. I finished digging down that. It's a hundred blocks in length. This one, I don't remember how long it is, but I don't think I finished digging it. Because I ran out of torches. Oh, and I only need a water bucket for this. And some blocks. Alright, so as you can see, for this whole chunk, this entire chunk was coal. That was like 2 times 4 times 2, plus a bit more here and there. That was how big that freaking thing was. Can you believe it? And some lava pool. I used water to make it uh, obsidian. And yeah, I went through two lanes already. So let's start a new lane. One, two, like this. So let's dig two across. And we can start digging back our way. We're at level 10, so there are quite a few uh, lavas, lava spots like this. And and I'll just place torches as I go. Like, oh my god. Ah, uh, like so. I'll be digging through here. One thing. So I'm going to cover this up. I'm using soil just because it's easier to dig up instead of obsidian. Oh, like all this. So, this is what I'll do. I'll just mine. Mind my way through, make a straight line. Yeah, it takes forever to mine this shit. Okay, let's get, let's get up ahead. And yeah. Come on. Today I want to finish building that. Uh or at least start building the elevator. So, like, yeah, and we, we need to finish digging that 4x4 mine shaft down first. And I guess I'll start digging it now. Hold on. Where at? Hmm. Okay. 
so I think I'll speed up this part and then we'll go up and continue digging down the shaft. Alright guys, check it out. <laughs> Diamond. And this calls for a fortune two pit. One one Oh what the hell it sucks. Diamond can branch diagonally, so be sure to check those areas. Just in case you missed any. Give me any diamonds. No diamonds. Ah, uh, oh well, four should be fine. So, continue. Ah, <gasps> Bristol. Give me. Alright. Take two more diamonds. Give me diamonds. Diamond, diamond, diamond. Oh, okay, so <laughs> that's the end of the shaft mining. Yes. Alright, so let's head back and up we go. And up we go. Up, up is here. Okay. Yeah, for now I just have a have this, but yeah, it'll become that that very cool. Piston elevator soonish. So come on. And here, I did some already. Let's get more work. Make it done faster. And yeah, so I'll get started. And I'll see you when this is all. This is all done. And see you. Can barely see the bottom from here. Oh, tree can. Yeah, so I think I'll stop here for today and continue next time because it's been very long already. I've been digging for quite some time and yeah, I'm heading out later and I can't really continue. So, next episode, we'll finish up the. We'll start and finish the the what 80 block high piston elevator and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye